a little girl, a toy robot, and a butterfly tangled in a spider web. You won't believe this entire animated video was made using AI tools. I've made thousands of videos using AI, and today I'm breaking down a dead simple way to create your own animated story using tools like Canva. And yes, most of them are free. In this video, I'll show you exactly how I created this from scratch. By the end, you'll know exactly how to go from idea in your head to animated video that looks way more expensive than it is without blowing your budget. Let's get started. For today's story, I'm starting in ChatGPT. I've already created it, but I'll show you what I did. I gave ChatGPT a basic idea for characters, with names and descriptions, and I also told it where I wanted the story to be. Then I asked ChatGPT to create some ideas, so it gave me everything including narration, image prompts, camera direction, etc. I also gave it a little more information, and it updated the story for me, so here's all the information. Next, I picked the idea I liked best, and I asked ChatGPT to continue on with the process. I've also created something that I'm going to give to you. It's a prompting guide that you can try for yourself. It might give you some ideas of new ways to create content. Change it up, play with it, and see what you can come up with. I hope this shows you most of the things to include in a video script when you're planning your own. I'll put the link below. Now, my story has the narration, location, image prompts, camera directions, all that's included, and it's broken into individual scenes. I'll go to the next step. Now I'm at ImageFX. This is a very simple site to use, but it creates really great pictures. Basically, you put your prompt here, you can add more keywords here if you want. Click on more here to see other options. Down here is the seed number. Choose your aspect ratio here. When you're ready, just click go, then it'll create four images. Here's a few I made earlier. They all have basically the same look, color scheme, and quality. Click the image to make it larger. If you flip it, then you'll see the prompt and also the seed number. Very important. Let me show you this. See the seed number right here? Whenever you create your images and you make one that you really like and want to replicate the basic look of, then click on this and lock it. That way, it'll maintain the same image style and the overall look throughout the rest of your images, as long as you keep this locked. Let's make one together and I'll show you. I copied the prompt and seed number from one of my images. You see it's locked, right? I made a small change in the prompt. Now, I'll click Create, and it should make an image that looks very similar to the ones I showed you a moment ago. And yes, they still have that same overall look as the other ones. So that's how you use ImageFX. This is a really excellent tool, and highly underrated, I think. And it is completely free. So let's go on to the next step. Now I'll create my narration. I'm in OpenAI's text-to-speech generator. It's free and easy to use. There's not a whole lot for this story, but I'll go back to ChatGPT and grab the narration and put it there. You can choose voices based on gender, age, and country. Click on Sample to listen to any. Once you find one, make sure you highlight it. Okay. Everything is pasted in here. Click Create Speech. In a few seconds, it'll be done. When it's ready, click here to download it. Now we're ready to go to the next step. Now I'm in Design. I'll click here on Image to Video, and then come up here to Size, change it to 16 by 9, then I'll shrink this down. I'll drag in my first image. There we go and I'll add my prompt. Next, I'll choose 10 seconds and click Generate. So while that's working, I'll start my next one. Delete this, put this there, choose this, and click Generate. Here's my first video, and it looks pretty good, so I'll download it. Here's the second one. 
Yes, we'll take that and download it. Okay, so you just follow this process over and over until you make all your videos. Once you're finished, it's time for the next step. I'm in Canva, and I'll choose YouTube video or video. Either way will work. I chose landscape format. Then it'll open up something like this. I've added a few pages. To do that, you just click on the plus sign. I've already added my audio narration, but let me show you how to do that. Go to Uploads, click on Audio, and choose one. Make sure the playhead is in the right place down here and click right there. Now you see it's been added. I don't need that one, so I'll delete it. Next, I'll split it up into individual scenes. I'll drag in my videos like that. Okay, all my videos are here. Now I'll take them and add transitions between each page. I'll put a dissolve. You can see that the video is way longer than the audio, so I'll need to do a little work. Give me a few minutes and I'll fix that. Watch me work. When I split something, I right-click on it and delete the parts I don't need. Now that it's done, the next thing I need to do is download it. So, come up here, to File, go to Download, make sure that's included and all the pages, then click Download. Congratulations, you just watched me make a video. Now it's time for you to try it for yourself. I thought Tank was just bird watching again. Turns out he saw something I missed. We needed tools, and teamwork, and very, very quiet hands. I held my breath, so did Tank, I think. <laughs> she made it, and I swear, she waved goodbye. Then something amazing happened. Sometimes, tiny things need heroes too. Lucky for them, we had a robot, and a steady hand. If you enjoyed this tutorial, hit that like button, it really helps the channel. And if you're eager to explore more AI animation techniques, check out this next video right here.